Good afternoon, everyone. It's Anna. I'm here today to show a jewelry haul of some jewelry that I picked up yesterday from two local stores that I visit on a regular basis. And also, I have some friend mail here, two gifts from two um, subscribers and friends of mine, which I'm very kind and very happy about them. I'll show those in a moment. Before I get started, I want to mention that if you see, obviously not these things because they're mine, but anything else that you would like to purchase here, you may contact me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. That's my email address. It's always down in the description section underneath my video. Um, I have everything set up before me. I'm liking this display. That way I could just pull it and bring it forward and don't forget anything. So this is probably how I'm going to be doing it for the time being. Um, oh, another quick mention before I get started is... I'm, I am going to stay with Wednesday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursday afternoons at 12 p.m. Eastern Time for my live sales. This week, it worked swimmingly for me. Um, I got the invoicing all done at one time. Everybody who paid me up until 10 p.m. last night is shipped out this morning before the post office closed. I managed to get in there. And um, now I have a few days to source you know to look for more jewelry um to clean it etc and it's it's just it's it seems like and to take care of my children as well my grandsons and my daughter obviously eva comes back tomorrow okay so here's the jewelry it was gifted to me um this is from irene one of my subscribers and friends um this is she bought this from kirsten red at kirsten red resales and i i'm impressed um I'm impressed by the packaging. He did have bubble wrap over him at what as well. This is a, something that I really, really love. I love frogs and lizards, but in particular frogs. This is a nice, adorable, heavy little jewelry um, trinket box. He'll be sitting in the background for a while. Then he'll go back to one of my stands, but he's adorable. Everything was very well packaged. Look at, I mean, nice, thick, sturdy box. Um bubble wrap as well and a nice little note in there telling me who got it for me um and he's adorable and of course I will not sell him he's mine and I appreciate the gift and and I love you Irene thank you <laughs> he's he is so cute I have a small one that kind of doesn't look anything like him um but yeah he's pretty adorable okay thank you and thank you, Kirsten, for wrapping my prints and getting him uh, to me safely. So can so uh, neatly wrapped and secure. I, I appreciate that. The next gift is, this is the next, like I have 20 of them, right? This is from Sylvia, Lady Sylvia. She has a channel here. Lady Sylvia is her channel. I've mentioned her a number of times. Look, um, look at the lovely, she does lovely beadwork. She makes her own jewelry. But this box is fantastic. I will be using this as a decoration. Um, I like it. You know, I can keep stuff in it. Ugh, look at that. I, I'll show that in a minute. But here, it's, you know, it's a book made to look like a book, but it's a box. And it's really cool. I'm going to try to get the tape off without damaging it. I like it a lot. I think it's really nice, actually. Um, looks like a book. And then I collect mirrors. And look at this. is antique. Beautiful. Hi, everybody. What a bad angle, right? I'm up under my chin. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't care. This is absolutely beautiful, though. I do collect mirrors, so this will go with my other ones. This is probably the most beautiful one I have right now. Thank you, Sophia. Glass. Looks like a drawing under there. I don't know if it is because I haven't really looked at it close, close. And it doesn't matter anyways. Either way, look how beautiful she is. And antique. And then um, she sent this cute little bag. She makes beautiful jewelry. Like I said, this is, um, I believe this would be Swarovski and Swarovski pearls as well. And it has her tag on it that says Lady Sylvia. Sylvia, let me look at it. I can't see. I'm sorry. It says Lady Sylvia. It has her name on it. She labels her own her jewelry. Look, pretty cool which is great um and it's beautiful it's a box clasp that's marked as well what does that say 
I don't know what it says. It says something. Um, but thank you. Thank you, Sylvia, as well. I love it. I love them both. It's beautiful. I'll wear this. I have another one she made me and gifted me as well. This is my Christmas gift. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I, um... That's beautiful. Okay. Thank you, ladies. And I love the box. That'll be kept. All right. So this is the jewelry. Those are mine, obviously. Everything else is up in the air for sale at some point here. Um, well, except for these little little tiny things. These are for Eva, my daughter. Look how cute. Penguins. She's been, she asked me, said I don't have many Christmas earrings or necklaces. So this is um, a pair of tiny little earrings I found when I was shopping yesterday. Davey and I went to one store and then I went to the other one myself, but they're cute. Those are for Eva. This, I sold somebody not long ago a big, thick choker necklace of the beautiful vintage cloisonne. I can't remember who it was, but I believe, I think it was blue. And this is an extra thick cloisonne bangle, like this way I'm talking about, not size. It's a, look, it probably fit up to an eight. That's probably two and a half, two and three quarters. But anyways, um, my wrist is a little over a six. The last time I measured it, I, I don't know what it is now. Um, I've lost a little weight from not eating bread and noodles, but um, not, not as much as I'd like. But it'll come. Menopause does things and not moving enough also. But anyways, let me try to give you a good presentation of it. I'm trying not to move a lot. Okay. There it is. It's got different color flowers all around. This is extra thick. You know what I mean? It's not one of those little ones. Listen. <laughs> And see, I have my camera up a little higher today. I wanted to try that for presentation and see how it goes. Maybe I won't hit into it as much. But it's very nice. Anyways, whoever that was, I think it was Sue. Email me if you're interested in this. I will give you priority over it if you want it. If you see my video, I, I think you're the one that bought the choker. And whoever bought the choker, if I'm incorrect. These are, oh, these are beautiful. These are rice pearls. These are signed Napier. And I guess those are crystals in there. And gold, I would say gold plated. They were, these, um, I have to look them up in a book to see if this was like one of the lines of designers. They, you know, they all do the, the lines with other jewelry designers. But I've never seen, they're signed Napier. They are screw back clips, like the ones that flop back and forth. And those are actual pearls. And you see the pave set, clear crystals, and then there's a big one in the center. And I, like I said, never seen um, Napier Royal Pearls. But they do have precious metal and some gemstone jewelry, as most of the jewelry companies do. So I got to re research these a little bit. They're really nice, actually. Really nice pair of clips. Probably about two, or two inches, a little bit over. They're beautiful. That's the first time I've ever seen them. Um, I'm just gonna go anywhere. I'll bring the brooches and over these. These this hair. I thought these were nice. these are just some um, plastic bangles. Nice. I I like the color combination. And there they are. They're like they don't have a seam line, so they're pretty well made. I don't think they're bakelite. I I will test them just to make sure they. And I do really, I don't know, I'm going to test them just to make sure. But you see what they look like that way, and then they're flat. Black and red bangles. Black and one red. I grab these. Stretches, peridot, turquoise. Quartz looks citrine -y. Citrine quartz. Um, this one looks like labor here. You see them get the idea. I think it's real turquoise. I do see some green and brown in it. I will glow it to see if it glows. And you notice a lot of filler in it. And um, they do put filler in turquoise though. So um sorry, I need a new black light as well. I've got to order put another order and it's always something, but I don't like this one. I ordered like three small ones and they're junky. They keep breaking. So I'm going to order a bigger one and pay a little more money for it. But there, those three. And then I have, this looks like a laboratory to me. 
Look how it glows. You can see the a rainbow moonstone. Um, I, I'm saying Labradorite. Um, see it glows. They're all stretches, and then there's multiple uh, stones on this little stretch. So I, when I sell them, I'll probably sell them all together. I mean, why not? That's how I bought them. They came all together on a little thing. This is jade. I've, um, look, it has a, looks like it should have a fold over clasp to me by the design of it. But this is what it is. Um, I mean, I guess they use these as well. Gold tone. Possibly gold filled. I have to look at it a little bit closer. But there's the back. It's jade. It's pretty. I think it's pretty. So there's that. And I found a Monet set. I'll show that in a minute. It's mid-century. I was excited about that. These are beautiful. LaRue, L-E-R-U. Let me make sure I'm correct on that spelling. Here, I'll show you. We'll look at it together. Why not? Um, L-E-R-U. Sorry about the fuzz on there. It's probably my cat's hair. Um, anyways, or from the boxes. I take the the uh, cotton out, tear it in half, and put one piece on the top and the bottom and to protect the jewelry. Then I used uh, tissue paper so it doesn't get it on there. It's actually a good cushion in between. But look how nice. Sabrina glass, beautiful. Pink rhinestone, a nice AB down below, and then lovely Sabrina glass. Clip earrings, gold tone. L-E-R-U, LaRue is the company to make her. I don't find much Sabrina glass. I was excited when I saw them because, like I said, I don't... There, I show them long enough. I don't find it a lot. Actually, I think it's the first time I've ever found it. Or in, in knew what it was. Who knows? I could have found it in the past and sold it and not knew what it was. But now I know it's called Sabrina glass. These are actually Park Lane. Look at the cat. They're in good shape. They're not faded or anything. If you see, like, a whiteness on it, it's my ring light. But they are signed Park Lane back there. These are clips. These are lioness, I think. Those are lioness earrings. Like, you see, she's, like, in the thicket. She's in the grass, I mean, and she's probably hunting. That's my guess. But Nice earrings. Um, they're pretty nice. I, expect, I didn't expect them to be Park Lane. I think they're vintage. I don't think Park Lane makes jewelry, at least 70s or 80s. I, I honestly do not know the date on them, though. I'll look them up. I should be able to find them. But then I'm relying on what somebody else is saying they are. You know, and people are wrong sometimes. So we'll just say, um, I don't know what date they are, but they're cool. <laughs> Those are Park Lane cat earrings. Um, tigers. This is does not come with the torque. This is Carolyn Pollock. This is rhodochrosite, I believe is how you pronounce it. This is sterling. Now, I don't see, you don't see sterling copper and brass a lot, but this definitely is. Um, it is marked back here. I mean, I don't. Maybe other people do. I, I haven't as of yet, but I guess maybe I need to pay attention and make sure it's not. This is 925 copper, brass, and sterling, and it's Carolyn Pollock nice uh enhancer um pendant this is about two and a half three inches pretty nice look at it nice it's got a good weight to it does have a stone in it though as well but it has a decent amount of silver on it look how big that is i could go over anything you want maybe some black i don't know beads or something whatever silver beads um here's the back it's more silver than others mostly silver some brass and copper I think it's a very nice pendant. And that is Carolyn Pollock. Details are very nice on it. They, they did a good job on this. Let me show the back again. Look. Large enhancer there. Could fit on a big thick chain too. All right, that's Rudicursite. I believe it's how you pronounce it. If it's not the right pronunciation, excuse me on that. All right. I'll get to the Monet in a minute. Let me put that back there. I showed it. I won't forget. I showed these. Napier earrings are beautiful, I think. Let me 
pull this stuff aside, then I'm going to show it still. Um, that's the Monet. It's nice. This is just, this is not just, this is rose quartz. It's a nice strand, a healthy, decent size. They're not overly small, but it's a strand that does not have a clasp on it. And it's probably about 32 inches is my guess. If anybody contacts me, I will measure it or this will come probably on Thursday to my sale. Again, I'll be on again Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern time for my sale. And I will be putting a preview video out. I believe it'll be coming out Monday afternoon. Monday early evening afternoon. This is pretty nice. Um, this is actually... Um, oh my God, I can't remember. Par not Park Lane. Uh, Premier Design. And it's modern glass, I know. But look, it's pretty nice. It's um, art glass. Premier Design necklace. Let me put it back on with the rose quartz. It's just I hung them on the same one. I didn't have enough bust. Yeah, so there's that. Um, those two as well. And back here I have a cameo. It's a costume cameo. The AB's not new. I've been had that. Um, this is an amber colored glass uh, cameo costume. The chain has a it's got it's not a bad weighted chain. It has a Spring ring clasp, and there's the back. It's pretty. Let me hang it up. Um, it's costume. It's cute, though. Somebody, somewhere will want that. And this is for Eva. Again, it's just a simple. She figured she could wear this to, like, one of her spring concerts or something, or in the spring. It's pretty adorable. It's A.B. rhinestones and plastic. I think that's loose sight little wings. It's a... Modern necklace. I don't know. It's plastic. I'm not going to call it lucite. It looks lucite but I don't know if it is. Didn't test a chemical uh, makeup. <laughs> to say that for sure. Okay, so that's that. A little simple necklace. This is the Monet set. I think it's pretty amazing. This is in good shape. The gold's beautiful on it. The gold plating. It's um a J-hook. There's the, ta the hangy piece. And... I have a Monet um, hang tag. Now, on some of the Monet necklaces, this is all that will be on there. And if that falls off, then you'll have trouble identifying. I have the matching bracelet that's marked on the back of the fold-over clasp. But a Jayhawk, I didn't, there is no maker's mark on it. This looks brand new. This is mid-century. It's Monet of the, I'll show you on the bracelet where the copyright symbol is. It's post-copyright, but it's mid-century. Uh, 50s or 60s, not really sure exactly. But listen, it's got a good weight pair of that down there um it's well made the links are tightly closed and it's has some movement it's fluid it'll lay flat it has again the extender of the piece and the hang tag um it says monet but there's that and then it ha i found a matching bracelet i was happy about that i'm gonna look in a book i'm sure this is in there from the 50s or 60s if not um it may not be a book piece doesn't matter it's still cool monet if the copyright after it's right on the back of there. And it has a hang tag as well. And it has an intact safety chain that is removable with the, uh, yeah, the safety chain has a, well, it's not removable, but you can open it like to put the bracelet on. It looks small. They were smaller. This is probably uh, for like a, no bigger than a seven inch wrist would be my guess. Let me put it on myself. Like I said, I'm a sick, little over a six, like six and one eighth the last time I measured. Um, yeah, it's pretty small. The vintage ones are, you know, they're smaller. But it's not tiny small. I think you can have a seven inch wrist. I'll measure it before I sell it. That's the Monet set. The gold tone looks brand new. It looks like the older gold. Um, it looks, it looks like it's never been worn. Um, or anything it's fantastic actually set I think if that's your style um, I know collectors definitely like to get them intact like that okay this ring here okay I believe this is jet it's very light it's signed sterling on the inside and I think this is I don't know I haven't cleaned it here let me show it anybody that knows what do you think I think it's antique I don't know kind of looks like a gumball machine ring um which is kind of funny and they had it priced for that but Harris did let me show it to you I'm trying to keep my fingers out of here um sorry I don't like 
I knew some, I'm not the only one like that. I see other people in the same way, so it's not just me. Let me enlarge it and get close, up close and personal when you know his hands are. But I want to show it. Look, it looks like it would be, it looks rudimentary, like roughly made. And I believe it's Jet. Like I said, I'm learning Jet now. It's not a real common thing to find hair. Let me show the front, too, if anybody wants to tell me. Maybe it's just vintage, but it's definitely a sterling silver older ring. And if anybody wants to chime in, if you think it looks like Jet, I know it's extremely light. I know it's, um, yeah, it's sterling. I think it's nice. Um, I was just excited to find it where I found it for the price I did because I do believe it's antique, possibly. If not, it's definitely vintage. Any gateway. So if you have insight, I'd like to know. Look at it again. Let me show it again. Close up on the ring holder. See what we have there. There's that. It needs cleaned. I have not cleaned it yet. It's an old ring. There's that. And there's the side. And on the inside, like here's the back. I don't know what that is. It looks weird. Um, could be completely wrong on it. Again, I'm, I'm just learning these, I'm learning these things and it takes time. It's signed Sterling and I'm showing it. I, I, I don't, I, I have no problem with saying, Hey, I'm not sure what it is. If anybody knows, chime in what your thoughts are. Just be nice. Um, so I ask, <laughs> I don't mind input from people. Let me show this. I have a little set and a beautiful rhinestone necklace right here. Um, This, I have it closed really small, but look, black glass and a little pair of earrings that go with it. Black faceted glass. It shines beautifully, doesn't it? And it's not that short. It has an extender on it. It's probably like an 18 inch necklace. Has I didn't test that to see if it's sterling. It kind of looks like it is. But anyways, these little earrings were with it. There's a piece of um, black glass uh, faceted um pronged in there and in a dangle in the back they're about a little over a half inch part i thought it was a cute little set it's pretty so there's that little set this um necklace is signed this is a vintage 1950s 60s rhinestone necklace this signed j a by j a g a l e with a crown over the top of it, Gailey, or I, I don't know how you pronounce that really. It's a new name to me. That's why I picked, well, I picked it up too, because I thought it was pretty, but G-A-L-E with a crown. And it's pretty nice. Let me show it. Look how beautiful it is. It looks brand new, and this is 50s or 60s. I did do quick research on it. Um, a J-Hook. Adorned with a beautiful clear rhinestone pronged is on there. And then look at it. It's all pronged, all clear rhinestones. All beautiful. They look it looks brand new. A little more navettes. Um and these are all fully pronged. It looks great in the back too. Look. It looks brand new. It matches really would match great with my waist. It's hanging out somewhere. Um you know, I have this that I offered and it didn't sell. But um, they, I think that they would go. Oh, the Weiss is marvelous too. Um, I like the Weiss. I like both of them, like somehow together. I don't know if you're a rhinestone lady. I like rhinestones. Beautiful. And the Weiss looks fantastic. I believe the Weiss is like 60s as well. I don't, 50s or 60s on both of them is my guess. They look great together. Can wear rhinestones sometimes when you go out. I mean, some people like them still, right? All right, I'm going to get to that little tray in one moment. Look at this. Is, these are cool. I think these are cool. Look at these. They're plastic. That piece is plastic, too. They're, like, set inside of there. There's the back. Cool. I liked them. I thought they were neat. They are multiple colors. Kind of looks like splatter plastic. You know, splatter glass, splatter... Plastic, um, black enamel, black, you know, multiple colors. Pretty cool, I think. These are about a two-inch square with a circle in the middle. I don't know if somebody made those or not. There's no name on them. Let me show this, and I'll show the rest of the little earrings I have beside me. 
I have this little tray. I have a snake. He has red rhinestone eyes. He's gold tone and has some black enamel every so often is on his back. He's a viper. Do I see teeth? Kind of on the bottom. He's cool. He's coiled up. As you often see snakes. I used to have a lot of experience with like snakes you could catch up in the country areas. My brother was a big snake catcher when he was a kid. He loves them. He owned them too. He was really liked them. I wouldn't want a snake, honestly. I do like lizards and frogs though, as I said. Um, I like reptiles. Not afraid of frogs or toads. Um, or lizards are my favorite. All right, so there's that. One of my favorite. I like cats the best, probably. Okay, there's that. This is, um, I have to clean it better to see what that says, but look at it. It's, this looks vintage. I just sold a pair of earrings to somebody not long ago. It has a little, like, mark there. I don't know what that is, but she's cool. He, this is a warrior carved, and it's really light. Now, that could be jet. I mean, it's not crazy. I like jet, jet, jet. The earrings were extremely light, too. And I was looking up, and some of the vintage ones were made with jet. So I don't know. Again, it's just me pondering and thought. But look, there it is in the back. Hold on. <laughs> God, I guess. Oh, let me get the. I got these little things that Thelma gave me. Let me try it out. Okay, there. Much better. I can kind of keep my hands out of the camera. You see, I can't really read what it says. Let me show you. Let me enlarge it. It won't let me enlarge. I know. Is my battery going dead? I better plug my phone in. Excuse me. I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry. My camera got extremely dark for some reason. Do you see that? Wow. How weird. Okay. Let me enlarge it. Oh, it's stuck on this stupid, this thing that I didn't even ask it for. So I can't enlarge it, but there's the back. The pin comes out a little. Um, it's sterling silver and onyx jet or glass, okay? <laughs> Look at it. I can't enlarge it. I've got this stupid little sun thing stuck on here that I didn't even ask for it. I don't know how it popped up. Sometimes the phone does weird things, but it's cool. I saw so many pair of earrings. If you like it and you want it, email me. I'll give you preference. Or I already just sold the earrings to somebody that looked just like this. Probably from the same store, too. Like I said, sometimes I go back like months later and I find something that looks like it would match with something I'd found previously. And this would be one of them. That and that uh, Cleasonate bracelet. But there it is. Nice. I think I've shown it long enough, right? Let's put it down. This is a name. This is LL. S-H-E-T-I-M-A, L-L Shatima, I think, S-H-E-T-I-M-A, it's signed, this is a turquoise, um, turquoise and sterling, that's a name, it's a good name, I saw an amazing, um, Eagle Dancer squash blossom that this maker sold, but there's his signature, or hers, L-L Shatima, if I'm pronouncing it right, and this is a cross. It's very nice silver and turquoise. It's not real big. It's a little over an inch in length, like with the bail. This piece I have to take off. It's not original to it. Um, somebody stuck that on there. It's That is the bail right there. That's not needed, this piece. I'm going to take it off. It's not even silver. But this is nice. And he is a, a if you look the name up, you'll see. Um, some of the work that they've done pretty nice. This is a beautiful Florenza. Red enamel, faux pearls, and clear rhinestones. I think it's like 50s or 60s on this. Um, it's beautiful. Gold plated. There it is, signed Florenza in the back. The dangles. It's a brooch. You could wear it as a pin if you wanted. They do have things you can change it as a pendant, I mean. Very nice. Details. That is a vintage Florenza. Everything's intact. It's pretty marvelous. I found the Maltese. And I had the most amazing, um, like, crest brooch I sold, like, a year ago. It was marvelous. The Maltese was just recently. Recent, I mean, not recently. This is Monet. This is a book piece. These, I think, have 70s or something, 60s. I think they've been recreated over the years. But this one here, let me tell you, I can't enlarge it. So the maker's mark is copyright before the Monet. This is, like, a 19... 
80s or something. Come on, it's an 80s actually, it may not be 60s or something. I can't remember when it was first created. Please cross that out. This one is like 1980s. But it's a book piece and I find these, <laughs> I've, this is probably my fifth one. So these are fine, not something you can find, but I think that, I don't know, if you collect, it's one you should have. Um, okay, it's cool. I have this elephant's pretty marvelous. Look at this, cloisonne. I have, there is a little like, um, I think that's um, stone, I, I have to test it. I don't know, I don't know, but look, there's a little bit of something going on there, see that, there we go. But it's a enameled cloisonne elephant and it's got a good weight to it, this is about two and a half, three inches, I think it's cool. There's the bale. I don't know if it's sterling. The bale looks like it is. I'll test it just to see. But it's marvelous, I think. I couldn't pass it up when I saw it. I was like, somebody might like that. Little elephant. Clays and anything. Actually, it's not all that little. I believe this is um, Spain Damasing. Um, it has a Mother Mary hanging off of it. You know, the Catholic religion's very, at least, I mean, it probably still is. I know in history it was very strong in uh, Spain. This is not marked on the back though, but it has to look of Spanish Damascene. You know, there's the back. Here is the front. Faux pearls, Mother Mary, little metal hanging off the bottom there. It has Mother Mary on one side and something else on the other, but Spain Damascene. Um, I'm almost done. Two stick pins. Now, I don't know what this is. Um, it looks like Dragon's Breath, but it's a different color. Look. This is a little stick pin. I didn't test the contents. I think, if anything, it's like, it's just gold tone. But look. I, I call that, what did I call it? Cosmic glass or something, like on the lady. Kind of looks like the glass on that fantastic lady I just sold the other day at my auction. The one that I liked, I really liked it, but sometimes you got to let some things go. You know, this is porcelain, just a little porcelain flower pin. It's pretty cute. Stick pins, they were in with another um, pin that I, I um, no, these were together, actually. I wanted that one, this one, and that one. This is inclined. This is a nice, chunky, gold-plated, um, signed AK um, heart pin, brooch. Called it doesn't matter what you call it. But it's nice. It's got a good weight to it. And it's pretty cute. It's chunky. Here it's a more flat matte finish. And it's shiny on the outer portion. It's about two inches. And I think it's pretty lovely. It's an incline. I like the incline. I think she has some good stuff. I think I showed everything except for these. Oh, I have a couple earrings on the ground here. I think this is like. I don't know how this is supposed to hang. I think this is more modern. Although I don't know. To be quite honest, those are glass, and it's a very nice color of um, rhinestones. It's about three inches. Here's the back. It has a plating on it. This is um, not sure on the dating on it. Oh, it is soldered. There's that, um, and it's the front. These are all. I like the color of blue. They look like aquamarine rhinestones, different shapes. We have square, like an emerald cut one there, Nevette, um, and square stones. All of these are glued in. Um, they don't look like they're like just set between the metal to me, and they're not pronged, although they are in a fix. A um, This has the prong markings here, but that's probably just um, for decoration. So I don't know how old this one is. Doesn't matter, does it? I don't have to know how old everything is. I try, I strive to, I like to know things. It's important to me. This is SJ for registered trademark. I don't know if it's St. John. If anybody knows, I'd appreciate knowing. I believe it's a silver tone. I didn't test it, let me magnetize it. When I test my metal, um, the first thing I do is magnetize it to slightly magnetic. So I'm gonna say sterling and gold plate it because it has to look a sterling. It is signed SJ, like I said. Um, let me put it in my handy dandy bird shoulder. This is a lifesaver for me. Keeps my hands right out of the camera. Um, see SJ and registered trademark. And again, here's the front. It's a nice little heart brooch. It's like open. And I don't, I don't know. Is that St. John? Does anybody know? Modern St. John vintage. I eh, Let's see, vintage. Let me see what it looks like. 
I don't think so. It's got a pin there. If anybody knows, I'd appreciate This is Napier. They do gold and silver plate their, this jewelry from this time period. This is a more modern one with a script signature. But I grabbed it. It was in with the SJ one. It's signed Napier script and has a nice silver plating on it. And then a gold in the front. That's Napier. Okay, and that's about two inches. These are the earrings. These, uh, let me take these clips off to show. I have these heart clips. These look like they would be gold, honestly. The color looks gold. It's probably a gold plating. Um, it looks like 18 karat to me, but I don't know. It's not gold. I know that I'm not saying it is. If anything, it's a plating or a nice mixture of uh, other, you know, something mixed in it. It looks gold. These are nice, though. I like to color. They're hearts, right? I think they look like hearts. They're pretty. They say, these are clip earrings. These are JS. I don't know who that is. If anybody, oh, there, I'm allowed to enlarge again. Thank you. If anybody knows, let me show you the signature. It won't let me do it anymore now. It's so weird. There we go, JS. If anybody knows that signature, I'd appreciate it. If you want to tell me, um, you know, give your information underneath in my comments. I'd like comments. Like open conversation but these are green enamel and they look gold plated to me they're pretty marvelous i think they're nice i don't know who js is though i'd like to know i found laurel birch earrings let me put those down there these are little laurel birch um birds i don't know what kind of bird that is even is let me show them but they're signed when you're in a bag i didn't have my magnifying glass so i didn't know who they were but I thought they were cute, so I grabbed them, and I saw a signature. And anytime I see a signature, if it's not recognizable, I'll buy the jewelry just to study the signature so I know. But these are Laurel Birch. They're signed that, and there's a cat. I mean, the, um, some kind of bird. Now I'm dark again. It's so annoying. This is annoying. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know how that's happening on my phone. If my video looks dark, I'm sorry. I have to shut all of that off before I video record in the future. Now I'm really bright. But better to be a little bright than too dark. All right, I'm going to show you the other ones in my hands. These are just, um, these are nice. I think they're AB and gold tone clips. Pretty AB. Blue AB clips and then i have these i don't know the backing on this again if anybody recognizes it they need cleaned i see a little vertigree i will keep them so obviously they're brass with maybe a coating on them i'll keep them away from these are not the 1928 pattern i sold a pair of earrings not long ago i mean a rather marvelous pair of earrings to somebody i think that had that marking does anybody know the marking the patina will come off i'll use some vinegar not patina it's vertigree see that marking um, background. I think they're really pretty. Um, and then I have, here's the front. They're nice. Faux pearls and enamel and acrylic. Nice. I thought they were really nice earrings. That's why I grabbed them. So that's it. That's what I have. If you see anything you'd like to purchase that's up for sale here, you may contact me at vintagejewelrygalorietyahoo.com. Thank you for watching my video. I will be back on Monday with or Tuesday if my jewelry doesn't come. I have two really great lots of antique and vintage jewelry coming. Um, and I will do a preview Monday for Wednesday sale. Next sale day will be Wednesday. I don't remember the date, but the Wednesday coming up. What was this Wednesday? The 7th? So I'll be on on the 13th, right? Isn't that what that is? Yeah, I think. Yes, yes. Wait, 14th. It's Wednesday, December the 14th. It, um, I'm going to have to come on one hour earlier because my daughter is a concert, so I'll be on at 9 p.m. Eastern time, hopefully. You know, stop by to say hello if you can. I will talk to everybody later. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.